I'm doing my final project on a review of Buckhorn High School's baseball season. This will also include the progress the coaches staff made the very first time being together at this particular school, including head coach Travis Tate and assistant coaches Matt Pockers, Jeff Wood, and Shelby Hunter. This project will be affecting, in a positive way, the entire community of New Market, Alabama, which is outside of Huntsville, as well as all baseball fans across this, this state, and it the and the high school of Buckhorn itself, the players, the coaching staff, and the parents and friends of each individual player. The scale of my project has to be at a 10. The total number of people may be reached into the thousands, and I will be focusing my project on Huntsville and the New Market areas of Alabama. The Buckhorn Bucks are 12 and 17 after a tough loss in their first area game against rival Grissom on Tuesday night. They had come into the game winning five of their last six with in that stretch, they played in Murfreesboro, Tennessee over spring break. This team has a lot of talent, but they are very inconsistent as they sometimes tend not to be able to hit it with runners in scoring position and make, make inconsistent errors in the field. The trends of inconsistent play sometimes haunt them as they go through innings or big major droughts that can take them out of a game. But they are progressing, and it's going to be interesting to see how this team ends the season. The timeliness of this story is in full effect and is and is up to date because right now the Bucks are in the middle of a baseball season and they are playing Grissom again on Wednesday and they will play other rivals Gadsden City and Huntsville in coming weeks. The credible research that has helped me prove this story is that I that I attend and cover the majority of the games that they play, as well as the entire coaching staff are my friends, and they sometimes take me home when I need a ride. This relates to the topic of my beat because the facts are regarding Buckhorn season, as well as the relationship I have with the coaches and the players as I do interviews with each of them and talk to them and get to know them through the through the athletic site and how the team progresses each and every game. This story is absolutely newsworthy in many ways, including the fact that there will be people throughout the state that would want to see, maybe want to see this type of story of covering one, one team in particular and giving an analysis of the entire season. And it would seem very interesting to the public in many ways because the, the, the fans and the parents and the coaching staff and their parents and their fans and their family members would all want to see the progress of this team. The, the fairness of this story is the fact that I'm not going to use any opinions or my biased statements in it. It will be all factual with the statistics and interviews of individual players and coaches. The first person I intend to interview is head coach Travis Tate and his he has been a head coach for over 10 years, previously at Lincoln County High School in Tennessee, and he will provide insight of the team's entire season and progress and how he feels about how his team handled each situation throughout the season. The second person I tend to interview is assistant coach, Shelby Hunter, and he has been an assistant coach for over 10 years, recently at Grissom High School for eight years, and he would provide insight mainly on the pitchers he works with, which is everyone on the team. 
The competition in this story is that Travis, with Travis Tate signing, uh, signing a contract to become the head coach, as well as the other coaching staff, and individual game recaps from AL.com. But there is no other story would be like this because I'm generally the only journalist that goes to each and every game. The target audience would include baseball fans across the state of Alabama, athletics, coaches, and anybody anybody surrounded and affiliated with AHSAA, which is the Alabama High School Athletic Association. My conclusion to this story is that it could be a very popular story. There's chances that other schools from across other states could see it on, on the internet. Other companies may see it and see interest in me and even have an idea for their journalists to do the same thing that I'm doing. It could become a popular topic that is done in the future for years to come. And here are my sources to how I got this story developed.